Northampton Historical Society is a, a private Institu non-profit institution. It's not funded by the city at all. It has existed since 1905 and in fact earlier. We're here on Bridge Street in three houses in a barn across from the post office um, and we have very very large collections. Um, furniture, ceramics, large collection of textiles and clothing, uh, photographs, archives. In Damon House the entire second floor is filled with clothing and textiles. The clothing, a uh, few late 18th century pieces, um, very few ex minor things from the early 18th century, um, but most of it starts about 1800 and goes into the mid 20th century. And many um, smaller collections like firemen's helmets and uh, medical equipment and children's toys and games. Um, right now we have a um, series of changing exhibitions in the galleries in Damon House. Um, at the moment we have an exhibition up on uh, ProBrush, the, originally the Florence Brush Company. A very lovely exhibition that repays a lot of careful attention um, organized by our museum uh, manager Marie Panic, and also a, an exhibition on children's toys and clothing. Um, our smaller gallery we have a series of changing exhibitions um, that we're producing in cooperation with the Northampton Center for the Arts and the APE Gallery. These are jury shows. Artists have to apply. They um, take a look at some of our collections and then they use objects from our collections as inspiration for their artwork. And this changes up, up about every month and has produced some really interesting um, uh, shows and there's something new all the time so they're kind of fun. I think in the past um, places like this were seen as a as guardians of a past that was under attack. Uh, when many of many historical societies were founded in the early 20th century children and grandchildren of, of the early settlers felt that their culture was under attack America has really outgrown that. And if, you, if that's what your concept of a historical society is, you're gonna die. <laughs> that's not, that's, you know, that, that can't be what we are. We don't wanna be that. So my concept of what our role is in this day and age is that we provide structures within which people can save their own history in a way that's meaningful to them. Earlier generations kept spinning wheels because that evoked for them their, con their sense of who they were. Very few people today look at a spinning wheel and say, that's my life. I'd like to see lots of people um, involved in ways big and small. Um, helping us with the, re the deed research on Northampton timelines, um, certainly coming in to see lectures and exhibitions, maybe working on a bit of family history, um, doing an oral history of a, of a grandmother and, and letting us have a copy, sharing a few family photographs. There are a lot of ways in which people can use us as a way of, of leaving their own historical record. You don't really have to leave it to someone else. You can, you can take a part and be your own historian and leave your own history.